Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second edition of Bookmap's exclusive LinkedIn event. I'm your host, Rick, from Bookmap, and I welcome you all. Last time, we discussed the future of plug and play and solutions, and today's topic is trading with your ears. Sounds intriguing, right? We hope you find this webinar super helpful and valuable. Today, along with me, is we have Vadim. Vadim serves as Bookmap's add-ons team's product development consultant and has been with us for over eight years. He brings a tech-driven approach for his work, driving innovation in the development of trading solutions. We're very, very grateful to have Vadim with us today. Hey, Vadim, how you doing? Amazing. Thank you for lovely introduction, Rick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great, great. So let's get started. Um, in this webinar, we'll be exploring the auditory trading Excuse me. We'll be for, we're exploring the, the world of auditory, auditory trading. We'll discover how auditory cues can improve trading strategies. We'll be showcasing real life applications where you will gain insights through actual use cases, experiencing demonstrating the effectiveness of sound in trading. In terms of audience, this webinar is perfect for website owners, brokerages, managers, prop firms looking to innovate and enhance their trading experience. So Vadim, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about how traders use traditional trading systems and alerts. Yeah, traditionally, uh, traders rely on sound notifications. I have uh, an example of traditional sound notification. Absorption EST to CME sellers at 50. Yeah, so usually it's here how it usually uh, hears like. And there are multiple limitations for these old school alerts. It is very, too hard, very hard to monitor multiple events across multiple instruments. You can easily miss opportunities for trading decisions. It is not possible to track order flow events. And it is really noisy when alerts overlap each other. That is why we designed market pools. Market pools consist of multiple per instrument widgets. Each widget shows instrument imbalance based on multiple instrument parameters. Rick, I think we have an example of that, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, Rick. So uh, you can have 10 widgets like that to monitor multiple instruments and track different type of events. This solution is available as an add-on for the desktop bookmap platform and in the web format as well. Great, great. Vadim, um, can, can you provide maybe an example of, of how traders can interpret auditory cues in trading? Sure. A market pulse works like a metal detector. Metal detector emits a different tone when it detects metal. The closer you to the piece of the metal, the higher frequency of beeps. Same market pulse does for traders. Uh, we have the second video, uh, how it works. Yeah, so there is a tiny vertical line on the widget bar. When the value of the bar is crossed, it starts to produce the sound. The frequency is higher, the value of the bar is closer to the maximum. Nice, nice. Okay. And um, is um, what, what type of what type of events you know can can be tracked in this way? Yeah, a lot. Market pools can track tens of different events, starting from the simple price change, traded volume track, and uh, ending with uh, very, very specific events, stops, icebergs, sweeps, absorption, and order book changes. Each of these algorithms can be adjusted to your trading style. It is very flexible. It can be very sensitive to be effectively used by scalpers, and it could be less sensitive to notify only about significant changes that will suit day traders. Very nice. Okay. So are, are there any examples um, that, that you can share with us? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's dive into the market pools traded volume tracker. Uh, we call this algorithm volume pressure. The widget consists of two bars. Uh, and uh, once uh, uh, traded volume is increased, the bar is fills in. Uh, the top bar is for sellers, the uh, lower bar is for buyers. There is a chance that sellers' volume 
will push price down and the buyer's pressure will do the opposite push push price up let's see how it works uh, can you play the second video please sure put that again Yeah, as you saw in the video, uh, there is a uh, high pressure for the sellers and the price goes down. And now imagine that you can have 10 different widgets for different instruments for different types of events. And with your ears, you can process all these events and states of the market simultaneously. Very nice, very nice, okay. So what... Um... What, what sort of insights do you have regarding maybe Market Pulse web versus a Market Pulse add-on for, for Bookmap for desktop? Yeah, so the add-on version is much more flexible for configuration. It could be connected to any data source Bookmap supports. And it has visualization of historical detections, which helps to adjust settings for your needs. And it is connected to other Bookmap add-ons for unique events like stops and icebergs. A web version is less configurable, but it is much simpler to use. Just open it in the browser and you are ready to go. It also works on the mobile devices, so you can use it from everywhere. And it can be embedded to other websites, which is also uh, valuable. Yes, yes, that, that is super valuable, Vadim. That's, that's pretty amazing. Okay, um, so... What, what's Bookmap's long-term vision for, for auditory solutions in, in the trading space? Yeah, we envision the future where auditory cues play a significant role in trading. With hundreds of different events, users can combine information to create an orchestra that will help make informed trading decisions. Okay, very nice. And, and, and can you tell us, tell, us, tell us a little bit more about how auditory information can complement visual data in, in trading? While visual data allows traders to focus on specific elements, audio provides a broader understanding of market events and states, helping traders to interpret different types of events simultaneously. For example, if you hear a big volume is traded and the price is changed, this means sweeps. If you hear the volume is traded, but the price is not changed, this will indicate an absorption. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that sounds like some pretty valuable information there. Um, great, great insights, Vadim. We uh, really appreciate your your valuable time here um, and uh, and and your insights into into auditory trading and and just kind of the vision of Bookmap and where you guys are heading. Um, sounds very, very exciting. And, uh, you know, I appreciate uh, your, your valuable time and, and information. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rick. No problem. I hope our viewers learned something new. By the way, Market Pools is free to try both versions, uh, web and desktop. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. Well, uh, if, if, if any of you guys have any questions for us, you can ask them now. Um, also, if you're interested in, in exploring Bookmap, like Vadim said, um, we do have a free version on Market Pulse Web, and uh, we also have the desktop version as well um, and that you can try out and uh, with Bookmap, and you can reach out to myself, uh, Rick D at bookmap.com, um, and uh, you can also send in any questions there as well. Also, if you'd like the copy of this presentation, feel free to reach out to myself and uh, be happy to get that over to you. Um, but if there's uh, nothing else for now, um, I think... Uh, we're, we're, we're good to go. Thank you so much for your time, Vadim. Hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye.